very words dangerously you don't say that. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Not a chance. So, thank you. Just thought it'd be easier. <laughs> Let me just, uh, this is the bird's eye view that, if I, I, I've seen the valley from up here and then didn't get a chance to go down and grab a stone and felt ripped off. And then I've been down in the valley and uh, didn't get a chance to come up here and felt ripped off. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to rip you off. You're going to get both experiences. Awesome. The discussion up here is so much bir more bird's eye, big view of the story of David. Let me just give you a geography, physical setting lesson of the nation of Israel. Up where we were by Mount Carmel, the Jezreel Valley, Galilee, that you've seen that whole dynamic. But pretty much from Carmel down, you could almost think of Israel from west to east as a staircase. You've got, you've got sea level, which is step one. Then you step up to your first step, which is called the Shvela or the hill country, which you see these lower hills, right? Yeah. And this is that in-between stage to the mountain range across the top where the number one road for they call the Way of the Patriarchs goes all the way up to the Galilee where we were, all the way down to Beersheba where we were. It's the wow. highway, the internal highway. The Let's battle see. between the Philistines and the Israelites was basically king of the mountain. And what's interesting is, is that back and forth and back and forth they go like this. And there are five valleys that make their way up to Jerusalem. The only way you can get there. The uh, Sorek, the Agilon, the one that were on the Elah, the Guvrim where those caves were. And then the fifth one, the Lakish one. And this is how you get up there. And so... If you follow the Elah Valley up, you can get yourself to Bethlehem, which shows why David and his brothers are here, why David was able to go down. But the Philistines are here trying to get in. When Saul finally dies, he dies on Mount Gilboa. It shows how weakened his, his power was because the Philistines flanked him, went to the top of this mountain range so that they could get on top of it because once you're on top of it, cities fall one after the other. This is why Joshua's strategy from God was take Jericho, because if you go step one, sea level, step two, the hill country, step three, the mountain range, you take a really steep step down into that desert area that we were last night looking into, Wadi Kelp and the wilderness and the Jericho Road. Step four goes to the lowest place on the face of the earth. Jericho, the lowest city on the face of the earth. Dead Sea, the lowest place in the face of the earth. And then all of a sudden you leap way back up, almost higher than Jerusalem in this mountain range to the land of the country of today, Jordan, but Ammon, Moab, and Edom. So that's almost like if you were to slice it sideways, think of Stairmaster. One, two, three, and then whoa, low step. Whoa, real low step. And then you're jumping up. You know those guys always, you ever do this in the gym where you're jumping up on that high thing? And what do they call that? It's box, box jumping. Jump. Yeah, box box jump. jumping. The last step is a big box jump. Here's the place where the Philistines are trying to make their way up. In fact, uh, Timnah and Zora and that area where Samson was from, it's holding off the Philistines. Philistines, who are they? They're traced back to the Greek area. Greeks are the only ones that have bronze greaves. That's what, that's what uh, Goliath is wearing. And uh, it was asked earlier, 